Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Smooth Magic. We're continuing our deep dive into Core 2021, another collector booster box. We got our official sanctioned box opening device. Again, there's really no need to destroy the box. A slight cut into the side will render the contents easily accessible. And there we go. Bring out our glorious packs here. Again, just cannot be overstated the just the colors here that they use, namely silver. But I think it's the green too. That sort of aqua fluorescent green. Really, really glorious. All right, let's prepare our workspace and we are ready to go. Pack number one. I always feel like pack number one is gonna set the stage for how this episode goes. You know, start off with a good pull, start off opening the pack, and then getting the good pull. Let's see what we get here. Again, I say this every time, but we're going to try to really pay attention to the mythics. I'm going to pull those aside. And we are talking about starting the pack right. This right here. That's it right there. You know what? Why don't we do that? Lily deserves to be in the very center there. And a Fabled Passage box topper. Very, very nice. Uh, uh, an exceptional pack all around, I I do believe. And a Grim Tutor. This thing has pretty much everything you could want. I mean... Oh. Uh, and the Teferi Master of Time Showcase Foil. Oh. What did we do to deserve this? Oh. I... Wow. Okay, um, wow, that's, um, impressive, pack one, what would you say, 60, 70 dollars, wow, okay, magic though I feel helps teach life lessons, lesson number one is, is don't get greedy, um, I think um, it's, it's often that you can open a pack like that, and everyone wants more. And really wants to, to see those pulls continue, but don't get discouraged if the next couple packs are, are not quite as good. It's okay. A brush taunter, box art, or box topper. Solemn Simulacrum, Eric's Uprising, and a Bowser's Accolade. Kind of an average pack there, but still very, feeling very, very hopeful after the first start there. Wonderful pack. Uh, and that was actually one of the packs we had most trouble trying to open. A Sapperling. And we got the his little buddy. Be the truth. Ambi, an idol of endurance, Founders Incinerator, beautiful purple card, not really doing anything for me, but the Solemn Sock Simulacrum, <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister on that one. I feel like every time that one comes out I have to take a moment just to remind myself, how do you pronounce that word? You know, growing up uh, playing Magic, I do feel like it exposed me to a lot of terms and terminology that, um, while, are all, while archaic, increase my vocabulary. So these things can be a uh, learning experience as well. Sanctum of all for the box topper. Oh, all right. Well, we've got a Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Showcase. 
Very nice. Put that. So what? Let's just double check this. We've got a normal one here and a showcase variant. Oh, what luck. What luck indeed. So we've got a lily, two lilies, a teferi. Mm. We must complete the trifecta. Pulling an Ugin here. I'm, I'm feeling it. Feel the Ugin upon us. We must only persevere with the pack. Temple of Epiphany, Temple of Triumph. Fairy's Ageless Insight. You know, I'm kind of looking at this. I always think it's an axe or a pickaxe or some sort, but I think what it is is a staff coming out of a portal. And the Teferi's Ageless Insight. Foil. Okay, so it seems like we're on, on one pack, off another. So if uh, the pattern remains, this pack should be the one that has all the smooth pulls for us. Let's see if that smooth pole involves an Ugin. Temple of Epiphany. A boss kit. That's a mythic. Oh, oh, did I just... You see that? I was just so used to... Where did I put my lands? <laughs> Everything's topsy-turvy over here. I think I put my lands right here. A boss kit. That's supposed to be our mythics right there. Liliana Steward, a scavenging ooze. Okay. About halfway through the box. We're moving on to packs number seven. Still looking out for that Ugin. Make this box a slam dunk. Home run. Coffee in the morning. Whatever your delight is. We got the planes. Put that right there. Temple of Malady and the foil version. A fabled passage. Another showcase to Fairy's Ageless Insight. And a Garrix Harbinger. I tell you what, though, uh, I've really been enjoying these pack openings with you all. And I hope that you have been too. I hope that these videos have given you a brief pause in your day to really slow down your life, relax, open up some magic cards with me, listen to some good tunes. We got the Grim Tutor foil and a Pursued Whale. A Garrick. Not a, not a bad pack. We got some good stuff there. So we've got about four packs left here. Oh, see, I'm doing that again. One of the things I really, really love about opening magic is there's no wrong way to open up magic. Yeah, kind of like uh, some other... Andy's chocolate items that folks may be familiar with. A conspicuous snoop and a card trying to make its way back on. A box topper conspicuous snoop. You know, as long as you're having fun opening the packs, do it however it way it makes you happy. And a containment priest. Box topper. Three packs remaining. Still on the hunt for the Ugin. But I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling like he'll show his face. It's been actually quite a while since I've pulled one of those, so I feel I'm due for one. Sabira. Aravec the Spiteful. A ruined halo. Another containment priest. He loves to come. Oh, actually, is that... I might have been a little presumptuous when I said he... A foil cultivate. Not bad. Fairy's protege.
starting off with the forest. Moving on into the demonic embrace. The pack leader. So many dogs in this set. I love it. And another demonic embrace. This time with box uh, box topper. Bowser's lieutenant. Oh, 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 oh. So let's set up the whole family here. Look at this. We got a Liliana. We got a Garouk. We got a Bowser Cat. Oh, I'm not really into that one, but look at that. Three Lilianas. I almost don't want to press my luck. But let's go ahead and do it for the sake of completeness. Oh, well, that was an interesting pull. We've got the island. The uh, island that the pursued whale lives in. Or web weaver. The chromatic orrery. Another mythic. A bowser cat. Another mythic. And there we have it. So all in all, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mythics. That's not a bad pull in terms of box toppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So a little bit. Oh, oh, we forgot about the Teferi. A little bit lighter on the actual number, but I think each one of the uh, the pulls here was substantially better. Thank you all for watching this episode of Smooth Magic, and until next time, wishing you all a smooth day.